guys so welcome to my channel if you are new here my name is Aarti Shinoy and I'm a kindergarten teacher in today's video I will be talking all about seesaw I will be recording this in two parts the first part is what is seesaw and its various features and the second part will include how to create and upload activities on seesaw so let's begin you type seesaw into Google and press enter now seesaw has two versions to it the first version is for teachers and students the second version is for parents and families you can access seesaw on any android phone ipad laptop chromebook etc when you click into student and teacher version it gives you two options sign up free and login if you have a username and password you simply tap login However, if you're a first time user, you click on to sign up for free. It gives you three alternatives. I'm a teacher, I'm a student, I'm a family member. If you are a teacher, you simply log in using a username and password given by the school. For students to access CISO, the details are provided by the teacher. Now you have two options again. You can either type the class join code and tap go, or you can log in using the school username and password. And the same thing applies for I'm a family member. Because I'm a teacher, I'll tap here. And because I have a username and password, I will go directly into sign in and choose a username and password that I'd like to sign in with. And it directly takes me to the main page of CISO. Now, I do not have any classes yet. So it will prompt you to create a class and add students. So you go into the top left corner and you click on create new class. You give your class a name so i'm just going to put that as rt chenoy's classroom and i am going to select my grade level that is kindergarten i'll go on to the top right corner and click on the tick mark and my classroom is created the next step is to add students to my classroom so i'll go on to the top right corner where you can see a tool i'll click on that tool and add students they will ask you two questions. Do you want students to sign in to Seesaw using their Google account or email address? No, because you will want them to sign in with the information that you provide your learners with. Most often, do your students share devices or do they have their own device? So this is one on one device. It all depends on the district that you come from. Here I will add students. So I'm going to add about four students. And once I do that, I will go onto the top right corner and again click on the tick mark. And my students are added to my classroom. You will see that on the right side at the bottom. That is Aaron, David, Maria and Priyanka. If I want to check out the work of a particular student, I'll click on the name of that student. For example, Aaron. But nothing has been added by Aaron yet and hence it is not reflecting here. But once Aaron puts up activities, you as a teacher will be able to check his work right here. Now, if you want to go back to the main page, you have this option called class journal. You just click onto there and it takes you directly back to the main page. Here you will find four tabs, journal activities, inbox and progress. The first tab is where you'll find all the student content and information shared by each and every learner of your class. Now this is private and it's only accessible to teachers, the students in your class and a student's family member if the teacher chooses to invite them. The second tab is that, that of activities. Now this is where you as a teacher can create activities and share it with all of your learners. Now learners can access the activity, they can complete it and they can submit the activity. The teacher has a few choices. She can either approve it, delete it, or send it back to the learner to rectify for any errors. The third option is that of inbox. This is where you'll find the school announcements and the teacher announcements. Now, when a school puts up an announcement, it will reflect here and all the students, including parents and the teachers will be able to access that information right here on this tab. The fourth option or the fourth tab is that of progress. Now we do not use this tab really. When a learner uploads an activity, it auto selects the various categories based on the activity that he or she has submitted. Yes, definitely we use the other three to the max. 
Now, Seesaw can be used by anyone and everyone, even parents for homeschooling or other passionate teacher mothers out there. So make sure to check out Seesaw Part 2, where I will be sharing with you about how you can create activities and how students can respond to them and other information. So that's all for today, guys. I really hope this video was useful. And if you did find it useful and you loved the video, please subscribe to my channel and do give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to ring the notification bell to watch all my future videos. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.